Hey guys, it's Dave, and we are at a uh, family buildings of Chloe that hasn't been used in a while. Uh, we have been apartment hunting, trying to find a place for us to stay while we are gone, uh, traveling around. Uh, but it just didn't make sense to get an expensive apartment. So we've been looking at these cheaper end apartments and then Chloe remembered that her family still has this uh, old building they don't use anymore. This place has not been occupied for a while. Uh, it still has some stuff that they put here, but we are going to be trying to sell most of these items or, and if we can't sell them, we will be uh, throwing them out. Since it has been neglected for a while, uh, we do need to uh, make some repairs and do some remodeling and renovations, but nothing great, nothing big, because since we're not gonna be in the country for like 80% of the year while we're traveling, uh, it doesn't really make sense to get a really expensive apartment that's super swanky and nice if we're not there to occupy it. So we're basically here just to make sure that uh, we are able to have a place that we can uh, depend on to have a home to come back and sleep um, and have our most important belongings and personal effects uh, at a place that we feel secure. Chloe's been a trooper. She's been calling a bunch of places to figure out uh, how we can get help to do like really hard jobs that uh, we don't have the tools um, or, <laughs> or the manpower to do. This is pretty cool. This reminds me of what I had growing up. These are like back in a day when everything had to be its own machine. The receiver, the cassette player, the radio, the CD player, and the laser disc player. We had to experience that growing up. So those of you that don't know what those are, um, the young youngins, we had to have all those things. Now you just have a little, now you can do all this on your phone. Ah, technology goes fast. Good morning, everyone. It's seven in the morning right now, and we are here at the place to uh, take down the drywall on the ceiling that has been, that had a leak, and we are taking it down today. You ready to have fun, Chloe? Can I sit by? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Let's see what's in store. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, we gotta be careful. Oh man, look at all that water damage. I this is the drywall, but I don't know what this is. Yeah, I think we need to buy some. Uh, Safety goggles or safety glasses, because dust got into Chloe's eyes. Look at these masks that we used. Oh yeah. my goodness. So it was so dusty, but the inside is pretty white. So it seems like the mask oh, that did work. <laughs> oh, this is Chloe's. She didn't clamp it well enough. Like oh, I did. Oh, this is so bad. I didn't clamp it well enough. It's a little bit of a mess. It's a little bit of a We're in a district in Daegu right now that has a bunch of stores that sell like construction supplies. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> when we were leaving, we were like, hey, let's get some coffee. And a coffee shop showed up like a block away. So I pulled over because there's like a spot. I don't think Chloe saw this sign. I just noticed it and I'm trying to figure out what it says. It's some kind of parking restriction sign and this is like a CCTV apparently looking. So I don't know. I hope I'm not like illegally parking or but this is this is the life sometimes for me. I just don't understand things even though I can read the Korean. I'm just like I don't know what that word is. I don't know what that is. Now we got these protective glasses. I just pulled this out of my shoe a little bit longer and I would be bleeding. All right, well, we gotta wear probably like boots next time. Although we probably don't need to after today, so uh, it's a moon point. All right, well, we stripped the ceiling. Now it's just the frame and styrofoam that was used for installation back in the day. What the heck is in there? Oh my goodness. Basically the ceiling has been slowly disintegrating. No wonder it was leaking. These are bits of the ceiling that has been like crumbling apart for decades. I really hope we stay in budget to get this fixed. Here's the big reveal. Chloe and I spent a couple of days knocking things down and cleaning this place up. It was so dusty in here. You saw the mask. It was basically just all brown. But now we gotta figure out how to, what to do with this. Some, someone said we could just repair this. I don't know, it seems like uh, we need to do more than just repair it. 
All right, now that we kind of got the room knocked down and cleaned, uh, we already had someone come here, a professional, to grind down the, uh, the old paint off of the roof uh, of the building. And now we're going to be resealing it with some silicone. Hopefully we'll get better at doing this every single crack we fill because right now I'm doing a really bad job. If, if dad can see me now, he did all this work for us in the, at the house. And he does such a good job. Look at me. I'm so terrible. It is 6.30 in the morning and we are back at the uh, area where you can get construction material and tools because we are going to, Chloe and I are going to try to fix a part of the roof at the building. I'm using the grinder right now and I think I gotta get it to this consistency, but I probably have to redo that. But my arms and hands are like pins and needles right now because of all that vibration. Only a third of the roof done. So the shop vac that we rented starts sputtering, like literally sputtering, like. So that's what it was doing. It was sort of even mouse, so that, what's he? And uh, we, we're bringing it back to the shop. We call the owner and he's gonna exchange it for us. It started to rain, so we actually couldn't finish everything today. So. Good morning. This is day whatever, I don't remember. We lost track of what day it is. We've been working on the, renovating this place. Um, we are here to pick up some cement to patch up uh, part of the roof today, or we'll try. We're getting one 40 kilo pre-mix cement, so we don't have to do any extra work. Our friend Min is helping us out. He's has a little bit of experience and also has 40 kilos. I need some muscle. <laughs> we got this, Min. We have a lovely neighbor. That dog will not just, will not stop barking. We already kind of sealed and siliconed half the roof here and we still got another half to go. Now that it's not blazing hot and it's five o'clock in the afternoon, we're gonna do some cement work. Uh, my friend Min here, he's actually done cement work when he was in military service. One of his jobs was to actually patch parts of the base you were on, right Min? So he has some uh, experience doing this, but we were supposed to have some like wood to like frame where the concrete will go. Uh, and we don't have that, so we're we're just gonna pour it and just try to shape it. Min doesn't like the idea, but I don't know. We don't we don't got the wood. Oh. Well, thanks to Min's experience in the military for concrete work, we were able to get the patching done. Now all we have to do is let it dry and then start the paint sealing process. Okay, after a really long day of work, we are treating Min at our favorite tuna sashimi place. Seriously, we're not big, well actually I'm not a big fan of tuna. And I love this place. So it speaks volume on how delicious this is and I'll show you why. Alright, we get a bunch of different cuts from the uh, tuna. And the reason why it tastes so good is that we're going to do it very Korean style. We're going to take the uh, kim or dry seaweed and basically we're going to create a wrap Korean style in a way with all Japanese ingredients and adding the egg and the fried little shrimps are going to make a world of a difference. Trust me. Six o'clock in the morning. We are at 7-Eleven to get a quick breakfast. Oh, I can't even talk straight. Breakfast of champions. Ramyeon. This one? Oh, I'm gonna... I, I think I'm gonna go with the kimchi boombap. Hey, it looks like 
like we're able to patch the ceiling of this room. No it's... penalty. Huh? No penalty. Oh, it just died. <laughs> wow. With the help of my friend Min, we actually patched up this ceiling and not bad for a patchwork job, huh? Mm-hmm. Pretty good job. Uh, it was, I, oh, I didn't capture everything. Right. Yeah. Cutting this piece of wood <laughs> was a pain in the butt because we didn't have anything to cut with except for this really old rusty saw. Um, and we bootlegged it to be able to cut the whole thing. That's probably the most workout we've done. The whole... <laughs> anyway, we're done for today. Thank you, Min. I'm gonna take the top part of the roof, like the top top. They've already started on the other part of the roof. Alright, this is it. Looks like we're done with the roof repair. Um, as long as this holds out for at least three years, it'll be good. It'll be great. We got less than a week to prep for move, so just in time. Guys, it is moving day. We have been working on this for a month. Chloe, 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 how do you feel? How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, we were up pretty late, woke up pretty early to finish everything so that we can move on time. And now we're just waiting for the moving company. It's getting started since this is the fourth floor. They're gonna have to use the uh, ladder truck. So it's like an elevator with a ladder. Uh, and we took out all the windows off the rails so that we can move everything out. That's basically how moving works in Korea. Um, since usually stairs, elevators, depending on where you live, um, is not viable. So you gotta use an elevator truck. All right, it's 9.30. They got everything out of the house. They showed up at 7 a.m. They didn't start right away because uh, there were some issues with the elevator truck, but that was resolved fairly quickly. Um, so now 9.30 and we're heading over to the new place. But here's a glimpse of what's to come, but this is Chloe and my room. Uh, and yes, that's a sofa and not a bed uh, because I love this sofa and I didn't want to get rid of it. So we're going to be sleeping on the sofa while we're here. This is the room that we fixed up. Uh, it had a leak and the whole ceiling was broken. So we had, this is where most of our stuff is going to be stored in boxes while we're traveling. This, this fits like the entrance and there's our day, dining table. Chloe loves this table. She doesn't want to get rid of it. It is 1240 and we're done with the move. Uh, 